votes. And now to the presidential campaign trail with exactly one month to go till the Iowa caucuses. The competition between the two Democratic frontrunners, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama, is getting more heated and more personal. Here is NBC's Andrea Mitchell. Hillary Clinton, now an underdog, her campaign is so concerned it unleashed a new strategy in Iowa today, attacking Barack Obama. A president can't dodge the big fights, can't find political cover or have words speak louder than actions. They're worried because Obama now leads Clinton by three points, still within the margin of error. But more troubling for Clinton, he is ahead by five points among women, until now her strongest supporters. By wide margins, those questions said she is more experienced and presidential, but he is more likable and more likely to bring about change. They happen to like him more right now. They happen to trust him more. They happen to feel more than they did a few weeks ago that his judgment is more important than his experience. Setting out to reverse that impression, today Clinton claimed Obama ducked tough votes as a state senator and isn't qualified to be president. To put America in the hands of someone with little national or international experience who started running for president as soon as he arrived in the United States Senate. Obama countered by launching a website rebutting her attacks and told NBC affiliate WHO. They have uh, decided that you know, their only strategy is to spend all their time attacking instead of talking about the problems that the people of Iowa are facing. But tonight, Obama ruled out a direct counterattack as independent experts warned that Clinton's new strategy could backfire with Iowa voters. The Clinton campaign needs to be very careful. It's walking a fine line. On the one hand, it may want to raise questions about Barack Obama, but on the other hand, it can't afford to look desperate or panicky. In a contest so close, it will likely only get nastier. Andrea Mitchell, NBC News, Washington.